today. Before we jump headfirst back into the Miata where we're gonna have no time to do anything else because we obviously still have a lot to do on this guy which is back in the garage which makes me feel relieved and I didn't like it being outside. But we do have a lot of stuff to do that I've been putting off for a while and stuff that really needs to get done. So today we're just gonna try to tackle all of that. Hopefully we can get it all done. Hopefully it's not one of those days. Gosh, I always say this stuff and I just shouldn't. Anyway, we got a lot to get done. We're gonna do it. Just a bunch of projects that have fallen by the wayside due to the Z project and the Miata project. So that's what we're focusing on today. So the trailer is a lot cleaner than it was, but it was like, it got super muddy up in Georgia. I sprayed mud all over it. The truck was dirty. Um, so I wanna clean those. I wanna clean the underside of the Z because when the dipstick tube popped out at that three day event at OSW, just the whole underside got coated with oil and there's no leaks and it was bone dry before so i want to jack it up while it's on the trailer so it's kind of high up so i can pressure wash underneath the front and all the way down the side and the back because uh, i'm just so tired of it. every time i work on it there i just get disgusting and sands falling on my face and all that nonsense which side note i didn't show you guys well two things one these tires these are like nanking ns25s i was trying maybe you can't see it but like there's still plenty of tread and they just like ate the far inside edge but there's no camera wear we have like even wear across i mean i was running them at like 10 psi but still i don't know it's weird and i forgot to show you guys this uh ben kind of plowed into me and destroyed my door but luckily it's all door and it's just a door not a big deal that's why i love this car because it's kind of a pile of trash aesthetically so i can just treat it as such and not care i also want to give you guys an update on the tow rig show you some stuff we've done with that we got a couple things to do with that some stuff to do with the trailer we got a long day i'm not gonna bore you guys anymore we're gonna start doing it do it to it so the first thing we're gonna do today is paint the wheels crosby when we put the wheels on the truck he's like you should paint the trailer wheels the same color and I saw the color at Walmart and I couldn't pass up doing it. So that's what we're going to do. I figured the best, it would be best to start with painting them first because we got to let them dry and then we'll handle all the other things while they're doing their drying thing. All right, that took way longer and way more masking tape than expected. <sighs> but they are all taped off. Here is our paint. Uh, just some random Walmart paint. It was like the closest color I could find. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. They're trailer wheels. I just want to make it look a little cooler. I'm proud of my trailer. Proud of this guy. Show you guys this so you see that color right all right like looks bronze-ish metallic bronze no not at all straight copper like oh, virtually rose gold oh, god this is what i hate about spray paint but whatever it's it's painted while that's drying we're gonna move on to project number two of the day it was really difficult because every time I would lean over to paint, sweat would drip off, and I dropped a couple on one of the wheels, and you could see like the wet spot where I was painting over my sweat. Oh, what a mess. Okay, so number project two, project two. All right, so you guys asked for a tow rig update, so here we go, blinded by the sun and all. Um, wheels and tires, I need to get rebalanced. I don't know if like the shop just didn't balance them quite well, or it's partly my blown shocks. I just get a a light vibration at highway speeds and it, it this thing's so smooth normally that it drives me insane normally i wouldn't care about that kind of stuff but i did get the windows tinted i got the top strip done too um, by a local place they were super cool it was only like 70 bucks for both windows and the strip came out really nice interior still looking mint got that new car air freshener <laughs> uh, but it's so much cooler in here now with the tent it's not a fishbowl anymore uh, all in all she's been treating me well knock on wood she's been a great old girl i'm loving it I'm loving it i know like it would look way cooler with the topper off a lot of you commented that when we did the wheels which i think the wheels make the topper look less grandpa definitely would look cooler without it but it's so useful like last night got home at three in the morning from the event didn't feel like unloading so i just left all my stuff in here i locked the topper up 
don't even have to worry about it and i can pile stuff super high like that wheel would sketch me out if i didn't have the topper so definitely think i'm going to keep the topper on but anyway it's one of those things where once you see it you can't unsee it so when we did the wheels a lot of you guys were like taylor come on dude you've got to clean your headlights you have to like they'll look so much better the truck will look so much better and i honestly didn't even notice how bad they were until you guys said something and now i can't unsee how bad they are i just can't so now every time i look at my truck i'm like oh yeah oh uh so that is what we're gonna do now conveniently today's video is sponsored by mother's polish and waxes so we've got a plethora of products for them um all stuff that i needed like this powerball is sick for cleaning wheels and i normally never can get them clean enough and it drives me nuts especially with like decent wheels we've got their polishing cloth their quick detail towel instant detailer because i'm a kind of 75 25 guy get it clean enough and this is like a perfect combo for me to just make it look presentable we got magaluna polish which i'm excited to use that on the works because they need some real cleaning we got spray wax and then what we're using today oh can't see it the new lens headlight renewal kit so i'm gonna open this up and show you guys what's in it we're gonna get to it when i used to work at the auto parts store we did a test where we taped off a headlight in like four different spots and tested a bunch of headlight like renewal kits and the new lens by mothers like always came out on top so i'm really excited to be using that one on my headlights because they need it the plastic polish itself We've got a pad for the drill. Oh, and I think, okay, so then you put the sanding pads on that. And then you've got the final polishing, guys. I remember reading these and then we're gonna get started. I won't bore you guys with that. All right, we got everything around the headlights masked off. That's just in case, you know, with the sanding disc you accidentally, which I will definitely accidentally go off and hit the paint. You don't start sanding your paint. Um, yeah, we're gonna do one at a time just so we can like see the difference. I've got everything set up up here. So we're gonna go 800, 1500, foam disc, and the ball with the plastic polish as like the last step. So I'm gonna reread the instructions so I don't mess this up and then we're gonna get to it. All right, so that was the 1500 grit step. We have a pretty even haze now. You can already see the difference between how like yellow that is and how much wider that is and it's supposed to have a haze now. So now we're gonna go over it with the foam pad. Check that out, look at that. Now look at that, oh my God, isn't that crazy? Wow, that made a much bigger difference than I thought it would. I thought these were pretty toast and that we'd clean up the tent, but they look brand new. It looks like we just replaced the headlights. Oh man, that is rad. Let's get one more shot of the comparison. Oh, that's so exciting. That makes such a big difference in the truck. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the other one. Huge thanks to Mother's Polish for sponsoring this video. It's always a blast to work with a company whose products you've already used, already use and trust and know that they're good product. Okay. Finish this up on to project three for the day. All right, so part two of today's project is to adjust my trailer brakes. Oh, wrong way. Because I'm not 100% sure how this works. Is the spring gonna come punch me in the face? How do you get this off? Knock it off with a hammer. Got it. Okay, so I didn't need to put take this spring out. All right, well, I ran out of memory card space, but uh, basically I just tightened it until there was some drag while turning and then backed it off a little bit. Now we're gonna reassemble. Uh, we should be good to go. We're gonna re-grease uh, these bearings. They haven't been greased in a long time. These brakes are gonna need to be replaced at some point soon too. Maybe if you have like a hangnail on a finger, is it that you hit it more or that you just notice that you're hitting it because it hurts? Like I've hit this hangnail on my thumb like 40 times today. It's annoying. Okay, both brakes are adjusted, so they should be a lot better now. Um, so what we're gonna do now is start pressure washing the Z and then we'll pressure wash the trailer. Well, pressure wash the Z, I don't know. We got, the, we'll do stuff. <laughs>
not as thorough of a pressure washing as I would have wanted to do, but I mean, hopefully it's cleaner. You always think you feel like you got all of it and then you go under there the next time and it's still everywhere, especially the grease. The grease doesn't just come off. Okay, so we're gonna put the wheels on the trailer, drop, like drive off, drop the car, pressure wash the trailer, unload. But main thing, wheels on the trailer. I'm not gonna make you guys watch me unload, that's boring. I couldn't let you guys miss the uh, mask. Okay, now snap trick. All right, that is it on the wheels. Well, same wheels, just painted. Definitely not a match, but I, mean, I don't think it looks too bad. Uh, it's so far off. Oh man. Well, I don't know. I guess that coat is a little better than dirty white. Okay, I'm gonna go unload the Z, pressure wash the trailer, unload the truck. Oh, but I'm gonna end today's video here because I am exhausted. I'm ready to go take a shower and watch some Netflix because I'm beat. I'm very tired. <laughs> um, but we got everything done. Uh, you know, I'm happy with it. So not necessarily the most exciting day, but stuff that really needed to be done. And I'm glad it's done so we can move back on to the Miata and focus on that. So thank you guys for watching and for subscribing. Goodbye.